Yeah, we uh, definitely are seeing some of those traffic impacts. This intersection is a busy one right at the corner where the college is at. And you can see Palm Springs police helping to guide uh, some people as they are coming to this intersection. As Holony and Stephanie mentioned, you need to treat these as four way stops. We have seen some people just plowing through this intersection, not uh, having any regard for the officers that are here. Further down, there is a green light and that is 6th Avenue South. So that is showing us that the power is coming back on in several parts. Unfortunately, right here across the street, there is no power. And I spoke to a bus attendant who says that she's concerned that they may see these widespread outages during the commute for students. Are you concerned at all as a bus driver that the lights are going to be out and there's going to be a lot of intersections? Yes, for yes, the safety of our children and also our drivers. And I'm just praying that everybody, if it, if, that it works out and everybody get to their destination safe. So on the northeast corner, the wall wall has power, but right across the street over here, it is completely dark. Let's see if we can, can we pan over there, John? You can see uh, again, both of those gas stations without power, they have not been restored. So it is very spotty out here. Again, there is no uh, way of knowing of which power is going to come on next, but again, they are working on it and hopefully it will be back on for everyone soon. We're live in Lake Worth. I'm Andrew Ruiz for WPTV News Channel 5.